Today on AFF TV, we've got New Zealand football player welfare officer in the Auckland region, Jenny Storian, who's going to talk us through the 11 plus warm up. We've also got a really cool segment on the football freestyling world. See you in a bit. I'm here with New Zealand football player welfare officer and fit for football, uh, Jenny Story. And Jenny, you're going to talk us through the 11 plus warm up. So, what is the 11 plus warm up? So, the 11 plus warm up is a complete warm up program. Um, it is a combination of uh, strength exercises, plyometric exercises, conditioning exercises and balance exercises um, and it was scientifically proven and researched by the FIFA 11 experts um, and it is basically designed to reduce injuries in all footballers, males and females, um, 12 years and older. So you say that the whole idea was to reduce injuries, right? Yeah. So just for example's sake, the previous warm-ups that were implemented, what's so different about this? Why was this implemented in, you know, in front of these old warm-ups that we used to do? Well, this is the only warm-up that has been scientifically proven and validated to reduce injuries. Um, so they put a lot of resource, resources and research into this program. So football's really lucky to have it. It's the only sport that actually has a scientifically proven warm-up that's going to reduce injuries. So through their research they found out that um, by doing the FIFA 11 Plus twice a week you will reduce your likelihood of um, training injuries by 37%, you reduce your game injuries by 29% and reduce serious injuries so they're like ACLs, hamstring tears, anything that's going to put you out for a long period of time by 50%. So the numbers are pretty significant and it's um, pretty awesome that we can really help our athletes be injury free for longer. And do you feel that, because there is a, a kids one right, like yeah, you know, 11 yeah. plus kids, so do you feel if these kids are actually taking part in the 11 plus warm up from a young age, when they're older, do you feel that's going to help them in reducing injuries? Oh definitely, yep, so the FIFA 11 plus got sort of adapted for kids, um, so 12 years and younger do the kids 11 plus, and um, that's quite a fun warm up and it's more about ingraining fundamental movement patterns, so teaching our kids how to move properly, how to stand on one leg, how to um, really ingrain those movement behaviours that will in the long run make them more less likely to get injured. So um, yeah, it's really important to get those fundamental skills nailed at a really young age so that when they do start increasing their load and start getting um, more professional football under their belt, they'll, their bodies will be ready to handle it. Awesome, thanks for that Jenny. Up next we've got a segment on a football freestyler, his name is Damien Thompson and he's going to give us a bit of insight on the football freestyling world. About nine years ago a friend sent me a video on YouTube of freestyle and I think that's how a lot of freestylers start generally is from YouTube or now Instagram and I just went out to my back garden, started practicing and practicing every single day and fell in love with it. So I've been doing it ever since. Do you like football? Would you ever give freestyle football a go? Do you think it's too hard? Do you think Damien's doing a good job? Yeah. Cool, do you want to ask him any questions? Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's just a hobby. I just want to enjoy it mostly. I don't dream about being the world champion, just to meet lots of new friends through freestyle, travel with freestyle and meet different players from around the world and to enjoy, make up my own tricks. That's the beauty of freestyle, it's free, so you can make up whatever you want to do. You're, you're not in any framework, you can do whatever you want. Are you like Cristiano? Like <laughs> do I like Ronaldo? Oh, he's okay for a footballer, but I don't know if he can do tricks like that as well. Freestyle is good because uh, it teaches people, well, it teaches kids, for example, to not quit at something because you won't get an immediate result with freestyle. The tricks take a long time to learn. So I think it's good because it teaches people to be patient, dedicated, and we miss that a bit today because people, if they don't get an immediate result from something, they tend to quit, so I think it's a good way of teaching this. That's it for today's episode of AFF TV. Tune in next week for a new episode. Ka kite, we'll see you later.